Let's get started on this brand new project. The first thing you're going to need is a paper towel roll and two toilet paper rolls. Next, we're going to use bobby pins. All you need are two bobby pins. This will help join the rocket pieces together. And of course, don't forget scissors and of course tape. And you'll also need the five pages that you've already downloaded. The first page is for the paper towel roll. The second page is for both toilet paper rolls. The third and fourth pages are circles for the nose cones. And the final page is for your pretend fire. Let's start with the first page. This is for your paper towel roll. Just cut along the dotted line. It's just that easy. The next page is for the toilet paper rolls. Again, just cut along the dotted lines and you'll wind up with two pieces, one for each toilet paper roll. It's just that simple. The third and fourth pages are exactly the same. Both are circles. All you have to do is cut out each circle and then cut each circle in half. So finally, when you're done with both circles, you'll have four separate halves to work with. We'll make three of them into nose cones for the tops of your rockets. Page five is just as much fun as the rest. I made this page because I thought it'd be fun to make your rocket look like fire was coming out of the bottom. All you do is cut along the dotted lines again. So finally, when you're done, what you have are two separate rectangular pieces that we'll use for the pretend fire. Next comes the nose cones. We have four halves. We'll just set one aside just in case we make a mistake. What you do here is take one of the halves and very carefully begin to fold it around until it makes a pointed cone like this. Take a piece of tape and just lay it across the connecting pieces and there you have a completed cone. Of course you'll need three cones in total, one for each segment. Now for the really fun part, we get to put it all together. Take one of your toilet paper rolls and place a cone on top. Next get a piece of tape and on one side apply the tape to the cone and the toilet paper roll. On the other side do the same. Once you've built the first one, the next two cones will be very easy to do. And now for the wrapping. All you have to do is take your paper towel roll and place your cutout paper next to it. Then tape it on with three pieces of tape. Very carefully wrap it around until the other side is complete and you tape that together as well. Taking your toilet paper roll and placing the paper next to it, it works the same way. Put tape on one end, wrap it around carefully to make sure it's lined up, and after you complete the roll, just tape the other side. It usually takes just two pieces of tape. Do this for both toilet paper rolls. You've probably been wondering why we need bobby pins. Well, that's to hold the rocket pieces together. Once you slide on the bobby pin, make sure the fatter end is on the outside. Put one bobby pin on each toilet paper roll section, just like this. Once both bobby pins are in place, take a piece of tape, roll the toilet paper roll around, and tape the bobby pin from the inside, so that way it doesn't slip off very easily. Do this on both rolls. And now we get to connect the pieces. Take the first roll and just simply slide the fatter end up inside the paper towel roll. Do the same with the other side of the rocket. And there you have it. Your first three-piece rocket set. And now you're ready to add the pretend fire. Take the two pieces of red paper. Taking one, just fold it around until it forms a cylinder shape. Just like that. Take the other one and do the same. Usually just two pieces of tape is all it takes. Now here's an important step. 
what I'd like you to do is wrap around a longer piece of tape around the top of each of these cylinders. That's to keep it from sliding out of the rocket once you put it inside. Now just slide them inside like this and then watch. You can pull one out and then the other and pretend to blast off. And when it comes down to land, the fire goes right back up inside. Just like that. And now you have your very own rocket. There's only one thing left to do. You got it. Blast off and have some fun. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more videos and projects.